Hungry for roadkill fries with chopped chilies? You will be. The In-N-Out Secret menu has plenty of goodies for you to try. No, you can't order a giant ghost ship at In-N-Out, but you can order a bunless, toppingless double burger known as the Flying Dutchman. It's a simple concoction consisting of two burger patties with some melted American cheese nestled in between. And that's it. It's like a keto-friendly burger, if you ignore the fact that American cheese isn't actually keto-friendly. Maybe the Flying Dutchman is for cheeseburger purists who don't want all that pesky bread and lettuce and tomato and ketchup getting in the way of pure bovine flavor. Or maybe it's for people who want to beef up their grilled cheese by replacing the bread with burger patties. Do you eat it with your hands or with a fork and a knife? How do you eat it? With your hands? <laughs> Much like the legend of the Flying Dutchman ghost ship, some things are just unknowable. Unless, of course, you order one and find out. The secret menu is proof that In-N-Out understands that customers want variety. They want options, and they want customization. And they also recognize that not all of their customers are human. Thus, the Scooby Snack, a single plain burger patty that's the perfect fast food treat for your four-legged friend. The Scooby Snack has even been given the seal of approval by the American Kennel Club, who also cite the Flying Dutchman as a great fast food treat for your pup. And of course, there's no rule that decrees that only dogs can order a Scooby Snack. If you're on a low or no-carb diet, or you're on a budget and don't want to pay for buns and toppings, or maybe your cookout is one patty short and you need to grab an extra, then go ahead and give this secret menu item a try. It's just an accepted fact of life that In-N-Out fries aren't very good. They're known for being limp, unsalted, and just generally not up to the standards of their beloved burger brethren. Some chefs reportedly suspect it's because they skip the crucial blanching process when cutting the potatoes, which causes them to be less crispy when they hit the fryer. Luckily, there's a way to get an improved French fry at In-N-Out. Simply order your fries well done. This lets the employees know that you want them in the fryer a tad longer to give them more of that crispy, golden brown texture they deserve. You could even go the opposite route and order them done light, meaning the fries spend less time in the fryer, resulting in a barely cooked, softer variety. We aren't sure why anyone would ever do that, but to each their own. The high quality of an In-N-Out burger comes down to localized source meat, as well as satisfying preparation. Now you can up the deliciousness of your burger even further by ordering it mustard grilled. This just means that after grilling one side of the patty, the cook puts some mustard on the other side, flips it over, and allows the burger to finish cooking in the sizzling fried mustard, which gives the burger an even deeper, more delicious tangy flavor. Mustard grilling is actually the basis of an animal-style burger, which, according to In-N-Out's website, is a mustard-grilled patty with lettuce, tomato, pickles, extra sauce, and grilled onions. So if you're not in the mood for full animal-style, but still want your burger to pack an extra tangy punch, Mustard Grilled is the way to go. Call an animal burger and we'll know exactly what you want. See, this is kind of like an urban myth. You can famously order In-N-Out fries animal style, which means they're smothered in melted cheese, grilled onions, and Thousand Island dressing. But if that's not animalistic enough for you, you can opt for the Roadkill variety, which are animal style fries with a Flying Dutchman burger on top. Fries, cheese, onions, sauce, and a double patty with cheese? It's like an entire meal nestled in one french fry container. How efficient! This item is truly so secret that it sounds like some In-N-Out locations don't even know about it. So be prepared for confused cashiers or even employees warning you against it. But you can go ahead and order both animal-style fries and a Flying Dutchman separately, and then make the roadkill fries by yourself. That might be a good idea, as a little do-it-yourself action will help burn a few calories before eating this monster of a meal. Who doesn't love some melted cheese on top of their french fries? For some inexplicable reason, though, cheese fries aren't on In-N-Out's main menu. But considering cheese fries are basically just the basis for animal-style fries, it's a no-brainer that you can order cheese fries at In-N-Out. Plenty of satisfied customers have worked cheese fries into their regular In-N-Out orders. It's worth reiterating that this fast food joint isn't exactly known for having the best french fries. A 2018 LAist gathered reviews that ranged from hate them, hate them, hate them, to they are wrong in every way possible. So ordering cheese fries might just be the perfect way to dress up this limp side into something more appetizing. Or better yet, order your cheese fries well done and get some golden crispy fries draped in ooey gooey melted American cheese. Say cheese. In-N-Out has been serving up vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate milkshakes since 1975. They even used to mix them right in their paper cups, which probably led to a lot of destroyed cups and crying over spilled milkshakes. 
But in and out customers have no reason to cry now that the secret is out. You don't have to choose just one milkshake flavor. You can instead order all three at once. The American version of Neapolitan ice cream is actually a derivative of Spumoni, a popular ice cream treat from Naples, Italy that usually consisted of pistachio and chocolate ice cream with some fruit in the middle. The Neapolitan shake is a blend of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry ice cream, all in one delicious, creamy concoction. And if you're not a fan of strawberry, you can just as easily order a black and white, which is a blend of vanilla and chocolate. In-N-Out is known for its grilled onions, which infuse their burgers with tons of sweet, spicy, caramelized flavor. The onions are typically diced and then grilled to caramelized perfection. But there's another option, the whole onion burger. Instead of dicing the onions first, a whole slice of onion is grilled until caramel brown and then slapped on top of your burger. It's not for the faint of heart. This may not be the best idea to order when you're on a date, but give it a try next time you know you'll be alone for a few hours. Or maybe pack a toothbrush. I have two words for you. Brush your teeth! This isn't so much a menu item as a topping option that you might not know about. Either way, you can get any In-N-Out burger topped with some chopped hot chili peppers. The peppers are pickled to briny, spicy perfection and pressed into the bottom of your patty. If you want a burger that packs some extra heat, this is for you. You can also add these chopped chilies to your fries or ask for them on the side, and they'll give them to you in little individually wrapped packets. That way, you can control your level of heat or save them as a spicy snack for later. It's up to you, but be warned that these little chilies pack a lot of heat. When you think of veggie burgers, you probably imagine a bean-based patty, or perhaps an impossible burger that somehow bleeds just like real meat. Well, In-N-Out offers its own spin on the veggie burger, also known as a wish burger, but it's not quite as substantial as an actual burger. That's because this off-menu item is basically a burger without the burger. It's a ton of lettuce, tomato, onion, sauce, and cheese if you want it, stuffed between two buns. If you're feeling downright gluttonous, you can ask for some pickles as well. Pickles? I'm hungry. Can a salad disguised as a burger really scratch that burger itch? It doesn't seem very likely. It almost feels like In-N-Out is using the subpar burger to give vegetarians FOMO to convince them to convert to beef eaters. But if you're a vegetarian and find yourself at an In-N-Out, at least you know there's an option for you. The idea of a patty list sandwich at a fast food outlet renowned for its fresh burgers may sound ironic, but the In-N-Out vibe is one of good times and great food, even for non-meat eaters who find themselves limited by the menu. Thankfully, there's hope for these discerning diners, as In-N-Out offers a grilled cheese on its secret menu. There's no mysterious ingredient combination here, and no speakeasy code word needed to set the griddle in motion. A simple grilled cheese please alerts the crew to leave the burger out of the bun while leaving in the cheese. Two slices to be exact, along with tomato, lettuce, and spread. On the plus side, the grilled cheese is a fantastic option for vegetarians who find themselves at a loss for something to order other than shakes, sodas, and fries. Nevertheless, there's no hiding the fact that this is just a simple grilled cheese. Any doctoring to make it more appealing is up to each individual customer. Luckily, if you're creative, there are plenty of options for taking it to the next level, like stuffing your grilled cheese with fries. The sky, or in this case, your stomach, is the limit. Sometimes you're so ravenous that a double cheeseburger just won't get the job done. Two patties with two slabs of American cheese melting down the sides can satisfy simple appetites. But when you're hankering for something that'll last even longer, you need a little more to chew on. That's where the not-so-super-secret 3x3, also known as the triple-triple, comes in. In a twist that may have just rewritten the laws of space and time, the In-N-Out kitchen engineers discovered just enough extra space between patty 1 and patty 2 to nestle a third patty for a triple-decker that does not disappoint. Now I'm getting into the triple-triple, the 4x4, four four, the animal burger, the animal fries. Protein burger. Ordering the 3x3 three three is easier than ordering a double-double with a single on the side, and there's only one bun to worry about if you're concerned about carbs. Handling this colossus is a bit of a challenge, though. The bread can hardly contain the mighty meat and gooey cheese, and there's only so much a wax paper wrapper can do to pick up the slack. But on the days when your cravings for in-and-out goodness are no laughing matter, it's comforting to know that the 3x3 three three is waiting for you. Somewhere in the in-and-out food science labs that may or may not exist, Mad Chefs hit upon a fantastic realization. 
By fusing one double-double to a second double-double, they could create a monster burger that would qualify as a family meal all on its own. They call it the 4x4 or the Quad Quad. Considering the height of this behemoth, the name could just as easily be a reference to a certain super-sized truck as it is to a burger. If it were any taller, it would have to be served with a ladder and a hard hat. I usually go with the 4x4, but today I'm just going a little lighter. See, the 4x4 is not on the menu. It's a little secret. A 4x4 includes four all-American beef patties, lettuce, tomatoes, in and out spread, and four slices of American cheese. It can be ordered with or without onions, just to make things a little squishier and more delicious between the top and bottom of the baked bun. The calorie count of a double-double is a respectable 670 calories, which isn't terrible for a double burger with special sauce. Of course, some quick multiplication brings you to the brain-exploding realization that a 4x4 is over 1,200 calories in a single item. You've been warned.